All right, so guys, this is tonight's winning deck. Um, my fate, Berserker, and Kelia deck. Um, so let's start with our level zeros. Um, I run four copies of this Kelia. She's basically a hand filter and sort of like a plusing um, card. Why? Because you get to clock, you pay one and clock yourself to draw one. So it's sort of like one of those cards where you pay one, you clock yourself, and then you just plus out. Just like Ricky or Krista from Attack on Titans and so, and so on. Then I run four copies of this Kelly right here. She's 2K and she's basically like an Kakaki. On um, play, ditch one. Uh, look up to the top four cards of my deck. And I get to choose a master character and add it to my hand. And the rest go to waiting. Yeah. So, really good card just to get the cards that you need. And most. Of the cards you need are Helios, so you you will be getting her, and it's free, ridiculous card I think. Um, then two copies of this, yeah, I did. Holy crap! Then I then I wrote two copies of this Helios. Uh, she's twenty five hundred power. Her effect is that during during my opponent's turn, she gains one K power, so she's just a three five beater. And that's what I need, I guess. Something to be out there, but it's just there as a beater during my opponent's turn, I guess. Then I run two copies of this Rin, which is a non Berserker or Helia character. Why? Because she's a top checker, but most importantly, she can help me salvage because this deck has no salvaging. And this, I think that this deck suffers a lot because your only level 3 within this deck is this card. So if, if basically this card goes to your waiting room, you can't get it no more. Unless if you refresh your deck. You don't have other level 3s to be counting on. This is your only level 3. So I have it just to be salvaging with its brainstorming effect. And last but not least, I run 3 copies of this promo. Um, Kelia, she's a global 500 to all of your berserkers or Kelia characters. It's a costly card. Why? I don't know why, because people hype Kelia because she's the best girl, I guess. And yes, she is. She's the best girl. Lollies, man. Lollies. She's so much. And yeah, three copies of her. Um, that's it for my level one. I mean, for level zeros, that's 15 zeros. Then to level ones, I run four copies of this Kelia. Uh, she's 5k power, cost zero. She combos out with this blue stock one soul, which um, when she attacks, if I have a full stage of master or servant characters, I get to draw a card. So it's a card that uh, allows you to plus for free. So you don't waste stock and actually you gain the stock because you could gain up to or stop with the combo because you are using this climax so it's a good plusing of course you just draw so you don't actually get you don't draw you since you can't search you don't sometimes get the card that you need but you have cards to just fix your hand and you have a lot of cards to fix your hand um so four copies of that because that's your only combo for within level one on two level and then i run four copies of this Kelia. she's cost zero one k so she's really weak she could barely kill any level zeros, but um, her effect is that on play, I get to discard a card in order to search for a Berserker character in its name, and I get to add it to my hand. And second effect is when she's being frontal attack, I can pay two stock, return her to my hand, and bring out this Berserker in the same slot that basically this card was in. So help this card just helps me get my Berserker cards that I basically need to my hand and it also fixes my hand and it's all free except for the pain to bring this out of course so I have ways to get well I'll just explain the little details later but yeah four copies of that um, then I run one copy of this Berserker I don't know why I'm just running it because I need cards to fill in which this card will be taken out will, will, will be taken out for a certain card uh, he's cost zero 45 he gains 1k power if I have five or more cards in my hand so 55 only and he has clock Concord so he can't really kill much but at least he's there to survive but it's really not that great but I just have it as another berserker card and because I 
don't have a certain card that I need, which I've been wanting to get. Then I'm wrong one cop copy of this cost us 1500 backup, which I hardly ever use as well. Why? Because there's nothing to save with these cards. And I could bring out this early and but my he just doesn't die during, you know, level one because he, he becomes up to like he could potentially be up to 10k or maybe even higher, but I usually have him around like 9k or 10k. It, 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 just, it just depends. Um, but yeah, so not really much I use it, but it's there as a just in case to back up this if I do bring it out early. That's it for my level 1 game, on to level 2 is I run, two, um, I run 4 copies of this Berserker, he's cost 175, and his effect is that he gains 1k power for every alien character in my back row. So if I have two, that's two K. He becomes nine five, so he can become pretty big. Um, and I could bring him out early through her if basically my opponent just frontal attacks her, which sometimes does happen actually, which is nice. But yeah, uh, four of that. Um, I run two copies of this Ilya. She's cost one eight K. Her effect is that she gets minus one level in my hand if I have six or less climaxes in my um, in my own waiting room so which is which is pretty good why because you will be having around that you know many climaxes during um during level one because you would usually want to refresh your deck at at you know level one with six damage that way you could have compression within your deck once you refresh it and um this could come out early during level one being KK power and because I have nothing much to put in as well, so two of that, it's not bad. Um, then I run three copies of this Ilya. She's 5k power, and what she does is that she gives a global 1k to this Berserker, to this specific Berserker card. So global 1k to this, and also she's a um, level assist. So this Berserker can become the power of a, of a um, level 3. So it's pretty good and it's pretty funny seeing this guy becoming like 12k or something like that because I just usually have this with her in my backstage and on to low and then I run four copies of this event counter which is a cost zero event counter and I find to be really good but at the same time trolling uh, for, for um, certain reasons. What it does is that I get to choose one of my berserker or um, Alia characters and I get to send it to the waiting room and then if I do I get to look up to the top four cards of, of my deck choose any card and I get to add it to my hand and the um, reason why I say it's trolly is because I could sometimes get climaxes so those climaxes could have I could have canceled out the you know damage and you know or sometimes I could get closer to my climaxes so it could be either way but what it what it mainly does is to prevent my char my char my char character from dying by claw kickers restanders and so on so it's a really good card which on which on on only works for this deck and on to level three I run four level threes which is this card only it's 9k power what it does is that on play I get to draw draw up to two cards and discard one and also his effect is um, he gains 1k power for for every Ilya character in my back row and he also has a climax combo with this card um, with this book which is when this card attacks I get to mill five cards from my deck and I burn and my um, opponents my opponent takes burn damage equal to the number of number of climaxes that I basically milled. And he also gains 2k power for basically the, the um, turn. So, so sometimes this actually this card helped me push. A lot. Right. This is the. It's win, it's win, it wins games. It does win games, and this is what helps me actually, awesome. you know, just just win the game. I'm like, oh come on, hopefully to burn, and then yes, and then damage, and so on. On to climaxes, of course, I run eight, and the I run the stock, uh, the stock one soul, and then the book, 
and yeah, that's about it. So the deck, what it re what it really does well, it does well in maintaining a good hand. Of course, you could sometimes still basically have a terrible hand. Why? Because you could be drawing into all of like all of these berserkers and onto all of your event counters early on, and you don't need that. And then sometimes, for some reason, you just can't draw into these. Because why? Because Sometimes that happens for some reason. Yeah, there's it is. Some it's what, yes, but if you do draw into these, you could pretty much have a consistent hand throughout the throughout the whole game because you have so many ways to fix your hand, which are these, which makes this card even better. Why? Because drawing a card for free is nice, and you can you get to fix your hand later on. And the fact that this card can search for for any berserker card, you could get this to just combo out with this, I guess. But once you are once you are close to level three, you get to get this, and that's really good. Why? Because you 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 just don't spend no stock, and all you do is discard a card. Yeah, and then have your hand fixed. Yeah. Yeah. If you draw five max, you find no stock. Which I'm sure you do a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It does happen. <laughs> but yeah, and um, what well, its downfall is that. Can't really kill nothing unless if you bring out these, but that's if you're basically if your opponent attacks into this. Well, uh, fronts attack into this, which sometimes they don't because they don't want to deal with this early. And this is my other way to be hopefully getting so, something pretty strong at you know level one, which it did came out once and it did help out, but it's pretty hard to do it. At. It's bad time, so you really have nothing else to be killing stuff, to be having, to be kind of reversing your opponent characters. So sometimes your opponent will have the stage control at times, and once you do get this out in this, you you will pretty pretty much have the stage to yourself. Yeah, so pretty much level one game, most likely your side will be white most of the time unless you get that combo out. Yeah, and then you hope to this. regain advantage at level two with this. With that, yeah. And then I'll be searching more into these with her. So yeah, and like I said, this helps out getting into this because if this hits a Grady Rook, I can't get it. And I need this, so I pay out climaxes to get this and then to hopefully refresh again, but with these. And then so then I could play these. And there's no stock issue with this deck this deck builds up stock really good why because you don't have nothing much to pay for it except i mean you do have two you could pay two stock for that but like that's not guaranteed and like this is for free you do pay a stock if you do want to plus up uh, you do pay a stock for this but like throughout like it's not stock intensive yeah it's not stock intensive mm -hmm. at all which is which can be good or can be bad why because you could trigger a lot of climaxes and there's no way to pay it out so that's when you cry and you're like, I, I, I lost. And that's about it for the deck. So. Alright, and any interesting matchups today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, let's see. Oh yes, it was. There was one. Actually, for you, it was pretty funny. <laughs> I just pushed you towards the game, I guess, and that kind of sucked. That <laughs> yeah, happens, happens. Yeah, it happens. Uh, and there was one with Kevin, actually, with index. his index. Why? Because I was behind one level throughout the whole game and things were going really terrible. I was drawing into these, so I can't really use this to just accept to get to these, but I don't need this early game, which I need this at level one, but I did have them, but I, I just would, you know, rather search for these with this, because either way, they are, they basically tend to know that you basically have this in your hand if you, um, if you don't play this. So, I wasn't getting the cards that I really need, and these were nowhere to be found. And I was drawing these, and there are no Berserker cards to be searching for with her no more, because these were going into my hand a lot. Right, so then you, you finished off with... I finished off with this, because I... And then with side attacking, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, during level 3, actually, I pushed him with this, actually, from level 2 to level 3, and then it was his turn, I bet. Yes, and then... um. No, actually, I did push him, but I just had one of these, and I just pushed him with soul damage, and on to level three game, because I was at level three, like, for two turns or three, I guess, and um, 
I played a climax combo and I just side attack uh, like everything. And then burning helped out so much because yeah. it just helped push with that burn damage. And it helped because he had a he healing had, counter. Yeah, he so. had a healing counter within appendix where you pay two and you heal for two, which is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, come on, you pay two, heal for two, that's really good. And if I frontal attacked them, then I would have not pushed for game. So side attacking, everything was worth. And then I side attack against a level three with a combo, and then I believe I triggered one. Yeah, I triggered basically one so so. I got pretty lucky there. I was like, oh yes, what are the? Well, I do basically run a good amount of triggers. Like there's a two souls, these, and all of these. I guess, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah, and... I think it's about average. I don't yeah. think it's too much trigger. Well, to me, it's because I don't run that, you know, many level 2s. Yeah, but typically, if you don't run a lot of level 2s, you run more level 3s, which yeah, are also yeah. true. Yeah, so if I were, I were to run 8, then 1, 2, 3, 4. I guess it does That's average normal, out. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it does average out. Maybe just see these always. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, but then I forget I just only have 4 level 3s, you know. So, pretty fun deck. It's a really fun deck. I just enjoy it a lot. And also because you see a lot of... Helio. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then I like the art for some of these, so this is the deck. And yeah, it was pretty fun. And it's pretty cheap. The only expensive thing about it is really this. I got it, I got them when they were like ten to twelve bucks, but then they but then they skyrocketed it. And I think they're like fifteen to eighteen, I'm not so sure. I don't know why. <laughs> but this is really the expensive thing within the deck. This, these are cheap for some reason, which I think these are good. I mean, this is like five People bucks. People prefer search. I know, but I do, I, I do, I do prefer search. But the thing is that this is free and you have ways to handpick, so that's fine. So I, 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 I just don't mind it. And then you build up even more stuff. So, so you think of budget decks, you know, look at this deck. <laughs> yeah, except this is the on, 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 only thing that, you're, that you'll be spending money on, because everything else is pretty cheap. Actually, she went. She went up in price. She's like ten bucks now, ten to twelve. So, so it's not cheap no more. But this is like two bucks or one. <laughs> this level three is like two. Bucks. It's just a rare. So that's about it. And it was a fun, fun, fun day to play with. And yep. So I hope. So that's the way you think. And um, and if you want other certain deck profiles. Yeah. And the card that I'll be taking out is the card that gives hand on core. It's in level one cost zero and it gives it's an assist that could give a hand on hand on core. Why? Because I, I want more failures in my back row. Because sometimes I don't you know it's why these don't go to my hand, they go, you know, to basically my clock and I have no nothing in my backstage. That's him, yeah. that for him to get boosted up. Oh, yeah. That's, so That's it. Thank you for watching guys. I guess. <laughs>